in the webisodes, I play the characters Haddon, got it right, Haddon and Herrick. Haddon is a, uh, he seems like a German guy. Well, I was told he was a German guy and he's in Africa and he's, he's, he's a little bit, he's a little bit not quite, quite confident of himself, but he's got all this power and he doesn't know quite what to do with it. No, I've come to report a murder. Murder? But he's just following along, but he's, he's still a, a rather nasty fellow. So he's, it's not like he accidentally fell into being a bad guy. He knows what he's doing. He got there on his own and, well, frankly, he's going to hell for it too. But he doesn't have a choice. Uh, Herrick, Herrick is a real bad guy. He, he kills people at the drop of a hat. He, uh, he doesn't put up with second opinions. He doesn't, doesn't bother with other second opinions. He doesn't listen to other people. He just, he just, his fate, one of his favorite, well, I don't know if it's his favorite, but one of my favorite lines is just, he gets fed up with somebody that's just like, you're going to the pit. You don't have a choice. You either do it my way or the pit. That's, it's just a great character. He's just, he's, he's a bad guy. I don't want you to get the wrong impression, but he's just, he's just a rather evil, nasty fellow, and he doesn't care about other Uh, I read the first book of the, uh, the Left Behind series, and this is, I don't know if this is a Left Behind or Left Over or Left of Center, but it's, it's more of a uh, head-on good and evil. The Left Behind was more of a, well, you know, they're being bad, but they're being in a, in a circumvent sort of way, and nobody's really supposed to know what they're doing but this is just I mean they're out in the open they're shooting people they're not worrying about it they're driving through they're driving through stoplights and creating havoc every place they go and it's it's a lot more of a head-to-head -head confrontation with good and evil and it's I don't know if it's you know if you can get something out of it as seeing good and evil head-to-head -head right now but you could if you can see it head-to-head -head in the in the play and in the webisodes and stuff, you can kind of go, you know, sometimes you get to a point in your life and you can just, you just know, man, this is, this is wrong. Why am I doing this? Or how did I get in this position? And you just, you got to take restock and take stock of yourself and realize you're doing something wrong. And sometimes you need a kick in the head. Sometimes it needs to be a big, massive thing. And sometimes it's just a little, geez, you know, I really shouldn't be doing this. I got to go, you know, you just leave. <laughs>